Hey y'all, so my name is Kendall and I'm back with another makeup tutorial today. Um, this tutorial is not um, the tutorial that I mentioned on my Instagram story a few days ago, but this is just something that I decided that I wanted to record. I want to aim for posting on YouTube once a week, starting out and then you know, working my way to more once I have more time. But starting out, I just put um, a regular brown eyeshadow and use that for um, my eyebrows. And I'm using a LA Girl Pro Concealer as a concealer to clean up. And I'm just gonna clean up both brows with the same concealer. And um, yeah. So this look was very impromptu. There was no inspiration for it. I just kind of took it upon myself to make a YouTube video this night. It was around midnight and I was extremely bored. So yeah, this is what happens when I'm extremely bored. I just, you know, had the courage to film. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on some videos. Right now, I am just prepping my eyelids for an eyeshadow look because this look was very much, you know, it's giving a dramatic editorial glam. Now, as I prep my skin with the Morphe setting spray, um, I'm going to use the Morphe foundation which is the same foundation that i used in my last tutorial if you haven't checked it out yet then i suggest you do that um tutorial my last tutorial was basically my everyday makeup tutorial but like for like the spring so you all should go check it out but now i'm just gonna blend everything out with um, a foundation brush first and then i'll be going in with a different brush just to make sure everything is seamless and smooth. taking the same concealer that I use to clean up my eyebrows to um, highlight my high points of my face. So highlighting basically just um, brings back dimension to your face. So um, as you know, we all, our face, our faces are not completely one shade and that is what highlight is for. So highlight is where the sun hits the high points of your face so everywhere where you highlight is where the sun will pretty much you know i guess emphasize that part of your face so i'm taking a lighter concealer just to make it a little more brighter underneath my eyes because i do have dark under eyes and i love a good light under eye that's just seamless Now I am going to spray my face again because I do have a dry skin so I didn't want the foundation or anything to dry down all the way while I was still blending 
which is a helpful tip for those who have dry skin but now i'm going over with my beauty blender just to pick up any leftover product um any extra product that just doesn't need to be on my face so i'm taking a darker foundation to contour and to just bring more found not foundation but more color into my face um and to just define the areas of my face such as my nose uh, my cheeks and on my chin area. Now I am using a liquid blush from NARS. This is their or orgasm um shade. It is the only one that they have and it is a really good one. So, I am really a blush girl, so y'all are pretty much always see me using blush, whether it is liquid or um, powder. Majority of the time, I'll probably use powder, but this time, I just want to use both just to see how, you know, popping I can get it. Um, blush really does add, like, a baby doll effect to your face, and it makes you look like... Um, like a doll, like a literal doll. Now I am making sure everything is seamless with my blender, beauty blender again. And now I am um, setting my under eyes with the Derma Blend Press Setting Powder. And this um, setting powder is a little bit expensive. However, it does give your face an airbrushed look. And, um, It is very much um, a great setting powder, and you don't have to worry about flashback. I know a lot of dark skinned girls deal with that. You know, if you don't choose the right setting powder, then you will have flashbacks. So, this is a good one if you don't want flashback. Now, um, I'm just using a foundation, powder foundation, just to set the rest of my face from Bare Minerals. And now I'm going in with those two shades from the James Charles palette and adding those as transition shades for the eye look. I'm using the lighter color on my lid slash crease area, um, mainly my crease area. I have lots of um, eyeshadow space as y'all can see. So um, I'm using my whole eyelid for this look and um, yeah, so I'm just making sure everything is blended out and I'm going to add this darker shade that I showed to the outer corner of my eyes and just making sure everything is blended seamlessly and I'm doing this to add definition to the eye. Now I'm taking a brown shade from the same palette and I'm just adding that towards my lid area slash outer corner area and I'm just blending everything out seamlessly. And then I'm going in with a shimmer shade from this palette that I was gifted a few years ago. I'm not sure what the name is, but everything will be located down in the description box. I'm using this on my lid and I'm also going to go in with my finger just to make sure that i get the full color payoff from the shimmer so when you use your fingers um it pretty much helps especially with shimmers because shimmers can get lost on the brush depending on what type of brush you use but if you want like your shimmers to really pop i would suggest you use your fingers and like go back and forth with the brush in your fingers. So about right here in my tutorials when I decided that I wanted to um, 
change up the eye look just a bit um i'm only using a brown eyeshadow to line my lips and i'm taking the red ochre shade out of the modern renaissance palette to blow out the eyeshadow look to make it look a little more dramatic and colorful um you can go with or without it but i just decided that i wanted to take it up a notch because of the end look that i was looking for i just didn't want it to be too basic and yeah so i am going to clean up the sides and redefine everything so it can be more cohesive but um the lip that i decided to use was from juvia's place and the shade will be in the description box below and this is pretty much my go-to lip look however um you know i'll switch it up here and there but this is just the perfect lip for any occasion so now i am cleaning up underneath my um eyeshadow just to make it a little more you know clean in that area and my camera did die around the time where i put on my lashes but i just want to give a shout out to my friend cayman who is a lash tech here in texas and she makes custom lash strips so after i did my blush my extra blush i did put on these lash strips um and i also did some under eye lashes as well so yeah this is the finished look i hope you all enjoyed um if you recreate it tag me and let me know and thank you for tuning in bye